Hello, my name is Rabbi Rebecca Dubow, and I'm here to tell you a teaching about Barak, which is a part of the order of the Seder during Passover. Now, Barak means blessing, and I want to hold on to that for a moment. Before we go to that part of the Seder, we would have had our meal. So let's take a moment and think about this meal. The fact that many of us will put out a beautiful white tablecloth or an other um, tablecloth that is not something that we normally use, but to make this evening special. And then some people will take out their china or different dishes that they normally don't use because it is a very special evening of celebration of our holiday. And then we start talking about the food. Oh my gosh, it can be, we can keep talking about this for hours, about what are our favorite foods that are, we eat during Passover. I mean, what are yours? I mean, I know what mine are. I can tell you my, my mother's brisket, my mother's potato kugel, and um, the matzo ball soup that my husband makes, and the gefilte fish, and the macaroon and the flowered chocolate cake. Oh, shit, delicious. And we know that many of us will prepare for this meal because it's only once a year that we have this. So it's super special and super exciting. So before we partake in the meal, we do, do we do blessings. We do the kamoti, the, and we do the blessing over the matta. So we begin the meal with the blessing, which is why we need to end with a blessing. But before we can actually do the Birkat Hamadon, the great after meal, we have to eat one more thing. After all that I shared with you, we have to eat a piece of the afikomen. If you recall, the afikomen is a piece of masa that was taken apart in the beginning of the Seder. And someone had to hide it. And then someone else or a group of us would have to go look for it. Usually we ask the children to go look for it and it's hidden somewhere in the house or in the synagogue. And sometimes they ask the adults to find it because then the children would have hidden it. So it's a fun activity. But Afi Komen means dessert in Aramaic. And we must have that first. And then we go forward with the Bikat Hamazon. So what's the point of doing Bikat Hamazon? Well, you know, it's rude to leave the table without praising the people who prepare this meal. And that's why we need to do Birkat Hamadon to express our gratitude more than not only those who provided the meal, but to God and to be able to be together in this moment of celebrating the Passover Seder. So Birkat Hamadon, grace after meal, it's all about blessing. And we can always use more blessings, especially on an evening like during the Passover Seder.